FIFA has been urged to investigate Argentina's World Cup celebrations involving Emiliano Martinez and Kylian Mbappe. FIFA has been urged to investigate Argentina's World Cup celebrations involving Emiliano Martinez and Kylian Mbappe. Argentina lifted their third World Cup in Qatar after a penalty shootout victory followed an enthralling 3-3 draw in which France fought back from two goals down and equalized twice. And millions of natives lined the streets of Buenos Aires to welcome their heroes home earlier this week. Some celebrations were more extreme than others, with Mbappe unsurprisingly the target of mass abuse after becoming only the second player after Sir Jeff Hurst to score a World Cup final hat-trick. One section of fans set alight a makeshift coffin lid bearing a cross and an image of Mbappe. Meanwhile, Martinez held a toy baby with Mbappe's face stuck on it during the open-top bus parade. French finance minister Bruno Le Maire has called on FIFA to investigate the undignified mockery of Mbappe and Les Blues. He told Sud Radio, what is FIFA doing? Sport is about fair play. It's showing respect for others. It's showing respect for those who lost. SOS Racism and the French Football Federation have also filed legal complaints against those who aimed racist abuse at Mbappe and other France players on social media after their defeat at the Lucille Stadium. It is the expression of a far-right ideology that says that these people should not be considered French, SOS Racism's Secretary General said. The Anti-Racism Association has sent over 100 screenshots of racist comments in a criminal complaint. The majority of France's squad are of African descent, with Kingsley Coman and Aurelien Chouameni two of the players who have been abused after missing their penalties in the shootout. Argentina's players had to abandon their bus parade after being unable to reach the central Obelisco monument as planned due to the sheer number of people roaming the streets of the nation's capital. Security concerns intensified after a fan jumped from an overhead bridge onto the top deck of the bus.